Hello, it's Viking One, and now I'm in the neighborhood where I grew up in, in Youngstown, Ohio. And just let me show you some of the blight that is in this city. Okay, this used to be Adams School. It was an elementary school, and I actually lived right across the street. And this is what it looks like now. In fact, we used to play baseball right here in this uh, parking lot area, right here. When I was a teenager or 10, 11, 12 years old. And this is the tragedy of a Rust Belt city. When the steel mills shut down in the late 70s. I'm not going to walk inside because I don't want to get in trouble, but this is what this school looks like at this time. Then this is the area of Youngstown called Lansingville. And at one time, this was a very nice school. I didn't go to this elementary school. I went to a uh, Catholic elementary school nearby, but I did grow up in this neighborhood. I walked around this school, played in the parking lot many times. Now the bricks falling off. It's an old school though. Gosh, I think it's been around since the 30s. But it's just sad to see my whole neighborhood in this condition. All boarded up, overgrown, greenery, shrubs, all kinds of plants, overgrown area, unbelievable. People breaking in, there might be a bunch of people living in there at this time. I'm just going to briefly step in. The door wasn't secured. This straight ahead used to be the cafeteria. And just look at this. Wow. When I was younger, we used to play tackle football right here, right here in this yard. There's a, this was the end zone. On this side. There it is right there on the top, Adam School, engraved into concrete. This was a neighborhood football field, and when you reach this concrete area, it was first down. And then you set your line of scrimmage here, and right at the end of the uh, grass was a touchdown. Out of bounds was in line with these steps. And we played football here numerous times when I grew up as a young 10 year old, uh, 15, 16 year old.
This is the side of the school, Cooper Street. Still boarded up. This side doesn't look as bad as the back. There's Cooper Street right there at the intersection of Indianola Avenue and Cooper Street. And over there, the house is torn down, but that's where I grew up. Yeah, the, the city tore down the house that I grew up in. And this is it. This is where I'm from, Youngstown, Ohio. The brick has fallen off the top right there. There's a broken window. That fence used to never be there. Overgrown shrubbery and these, uh, this area here, these steps. Boarded up window, people broke in here. Okay, here's another area of the schoolyard. And believe it or not, this wall was built by the Works Project Administration, WPA, back in the 30s during the Great Depression from that era. So it's still standing. They built a solid, sturdy wall. And I'll show you where the basketball hoop used to be, where we kids in the neighborhood played for hours. I mean, if I were to count the amount of time I spent on that little uh, section of the schoolyard playing basketball, amazing. The basketball hoop was right about here in this area. And as I pan this way, there's Adam's school. All right, it's Viking One, back in a neighborhood where I grew up in, in Youngstown, Ohio. That school has really gone downhill. I need to tear it down. Anyways, have a good day.